Monsters Inc. So today we're gonna to be taking buttercream and we're gonna be creating Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc. I'm excited about this, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Billy Crystal and today we are making Mike and Sully. So first off, I would just like to acknowledge that I put a doggy bed in the middle drawer of my desk because Mochi keeps wanting to sit on my lap and so now he gets to stay close to me and not bother me. This was actually the best solution. Today we are making Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc. because I wanted to. <laughs> I like the movie, the first movie anyways. I like their character dynamic. I just think they're really cute. So let's get started. So to create this cake, I'm starting with my PVC pipe system, my old PVC pipe system. To create Sully's body, I'm using two four inch round cakes. And to create his head, I'm using a support system and three six inch round cakes. I'm adding buttercream in between each of my layers. And when they were fully stacked, I started to carve. Now to create Sully's head, I'm creating a rounded rectangular shape and I'm also leaving like a shelf at the top for his eyebrows. And for his body, I'm creating kind of like a teardrop shape. I just want to make sure I give him a nice rounded belly. After I finished carving, I added an MVP coat. Look at that cake. I want it to be just as nice on the inside as it was on the outside. It looks beautiful on the inside. I asked you guys on TikTok if you could guess what kind of cake this was gonna be and you guys all guessed Sully, so I did my job. Now after my crumb coat, I placed my cake in the fridge to set up, took it out and added my Sully blue buttercream on top. I'm just gonna cover my entire cake in this. Just making sure that I highlight the shelf that I created for his eyebrows. Once it was all covered, I placed it back to the fridge to set up, took it out and started to smoothen out all of my surfaces. Where are you going? Huh? You smelling food? There's no food here. It was looking really good and then I realized that I wanted to create a shelf for his bottom lip because he has an underbite. So I added more buttercream and gave him a nice smile. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay. Oh, are you done? You want to go now? Okay. There you go. All of the work that I did on the buttercream discolored it a little bit. As to get a nice consistent color, I softened up some of my buttercream and I'm gonna add a nice thin coat with a paintbrush. After that, I cleaned my cake board and started to add all of my fondant pieces. So we've got two feet, we've got arms going on. You can do all of this stuff with buttercream, but fondant just makes it so much easier. And then all you have to do is paint it with a little bit of buttercream to make it look like it's part of the rest of the cake. It's a good cheat. I'm adding Sully's horns, a little bit more buttercream to create his eyebrows, and then some purple buttercream to create Sully's spots. So I'm piping it first, and then I started to smear some of them so that they weren't perfect circles. Now, when I was happy with my spots, I started to add texture to this cake. I'm just using a paintbrush and just dabbing it everywhere. I was going to create fur texture with a piping tip, but I was scared that all of the work that I did when I was carving this cake was going to be hidden underneath it. And I didn't want to lose any of that. So to keep all of the integrity of the shapes, I just added a very light texture. Then I started to add more fondant to finish this piece. Adding his eyes, I'm also adding two teeth to his underbite, a nose, and four catch lights. And voila, my Sully cake was complete. It's kawaii, it's pretty cute, huh? Oh my gosh, oh. Uh. Now I knew that if I made Sully, I had to do Mike. You can't separate these two. So to create Mike, I'm using two six inch half dome cakes. The first half dome cake I'm keeping whole. The second one I cut into three slices so that I could add height to this cake. Cause Mike is not a perfectly round shape. Once my cakes were stacked, I covered it with an NVP coat placed it in the fridge to set up, took it out and added my Mike Wazowski green and just covered my entire cake. Now this tutorial was supposed to be a separate video, it was supposed to be part two, but there's a lot of footage that's missing. I don't know, maybe I didn't turn on the camera, I don't know where it is. So I don't have any footage of me creating his eyelid or his smile. But I will say that that's kind of a good thing because I really don't like his smile. <laughs> the technique is very similar to the way I created the shelf for Sully's underbite. Now when I was happy with my shape, I started to add my fondant pieces. So we've got white fondant to create his eyes. We've got his legs, two arms, two horns, 
Uh, with buttercream, I'm gonna blend his arms and his legs into the rest of the cake and then finish his eyes. I love it because it's just one. So we got one pupil and two cat's lights instead of two pupils and four cat's lights. And voila, my Mike Wazowski cake was complete. What do you think? Oh my God, it looks good. Oh, it looks okay. <laughs> so the Boba Fett cake, the Cinderella cake, and the Mike Wazowski and Sully cake were all created at the same time. These were all test cakes so I could see how to handle different things. The Boba Fett cake was to see if I could create armor with buttercream. Cinderella was to see how buttercream would affect Disney princess cakes because I love Disney princesses. The Sully cake was to see how to handle fur. And the Mike Wazowski cake was to see if I could use buttercream to create a nice rounded shape without any lumps and have a consistent color. And so these four cakes kind of helped me really understand what's possible with buttercream. I like the way these cakes out, but I can totally see all the stuff that I wanna fix. Like Mike Wazowski doesn't have an underbite, so I shouldn't have treated his bottom lip the same way that I treated Sully's. Also, he looks like he was eating and somebody took a picture of him. So he had to smile while he had food in his mouth. <laughs> Another thing I wish I did was just work on the buttercream a little bit more because I could have really exaggerated the expressions on their faces. But this was a really good test. Now I love Disney. So let me know in the comments what Disney character you'd like to see me make next. I think I need to make Boo. I used to think that Mike and Sully were a duo, but after watching Monsters University, I now know that it's a trio because without Boo, I just don't care. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave your cake ideas in the comments down below. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye. So I like working by myself, but the thing about working alone is that there's nobody to tell you when there's icing on your arm. So when you're reviewing the footage and you're just like feeling really good about yourself and then you see that icing on your arm that nobody told you to wipe off and it's in so much of the footage that you just have to keep it in and people are gonna comment on how ridiculous you look. That's probably the worst part of working alone. This cake was so satisfying to cut into because Sully's fur continues on the inside. It's just dyed vanilla cake that I added raspberries to, but it makes all the difference. I should have worked harder on this cake. <laughs> I just covered it with Sully blue buttercream, but I should have taken the time to really exaggerate his expression. So his smile could have been a lot more infectious. It's a mistake. I'll improve on the next cake. Fondant has its place on buttercream cakes. This cake is covered in buttercream, but I used fondant to create Sully's arms, legs, and horns. I just blended it into the rest of the cake with a light coat of buttercream. Nobody would ever know. Fur texture is hard to create. I really didn't want to use a piping tip because I was scared that it was gonna lose its shape. So I just dabbed it with a paintbrush. It looks okay. But when I make another fur character, I'm gonna try something different. Mike Wazowski is super easy to make. It's just two six inch half dome cakes. The first one you keep whole and then the second one you cut into three layers so that when you add icing in between those layers, it adds the proper height to create the Mike Wazowski character. Simple, simple. So I was terrified of making buttercream cakes until I finished these four characters. They all taught me something different. Boba Fett taught me how to handle armor. My Cinderella cake taught me how buttercream would affect my Disney princesses. Sully helped me understand fur and Mike showed me how smooth I could get my characters. I was kind of dreading my year of buttercream until I finished these. One of the things I really hated about finishing my Sully cake was knowing that I had to make a Mike Wazowski cake and I didn't have anything baked. <laughs> So I went back to my kitchen, I rushed my Mike Wazowski cake, and then I shot the video, but I'm missing footage because I think I forgot to turn on the camera. So we go from this to this with no explanation. That's what happens. That's why you shouldn't rush.